Hey guys, Rob with Next Gen Writer here. So today I want to do a little video and I'm going to talk about the Chiggy Go app and uh, binding of the device. So we're going to go into the Chiggy app and I've already, and I say binding because that's what Chiggy calls it. And it's basically connecting the device to the mobile app. And I already have this one bound. So if you go into the me page and then select my device, you're going to see the AIO 6 up here. But let's say you want to, I don't know, switch to an Android device and use that to uh, use the Chiggy Go app to connect to the Chiggy AIO 6. You'll have to delete the device from the Chiggy app and the, say, the iPhone device or whichever device and then add it. You're only allowed one device at a time. This doesn't apply to CarPlay. It's not restricting the CarPlay connection, but the Chiggy Go app connection. So you go into this page, and I'll just navigate again. So this is, this is the home page. So you'll go to the Me page, and then select My Device. It'll pull your device, and then up in the upper right-hand corner over here, you'll see a little Edit button. And you have some options here. You can change the device name, the custom name or the nickname. You can delete the device and then you can look at your network services. So it's gonna pull and, and show you your card number, how many days and or bandwidth you have available uh, on the device. And you also have a button here where you can recharge the device. So we're going to go back and look at the delete device. And here what you'll need to do is you'll type in your email address and then you'll select get code. So I'll do that. So I type in an email address, I select get code. And then it gives you a notification that it's uh, sent you a code. So I'll take my phone. Okay, it just popped up right there. So my code is 236024. So we'll go back to the Cheeky app. Type in 236024 and then select delete device and it tells you unbound successfully. So then you'll log into the uh, mobile app on whichever device you want to switch to and then you can add the device there. So I'll just add it back here to demonstrate it. So you'll select your device type. In my case, it's an AIO6 LTE. You can scan. I haven't had a lot of luck with the scanning working, so I'm just going to type in the number, serial number. And then you can name the device. I'll just call it AIO6. So I put in the information. And actually, the Chiggy does not need to be on. I, I got the Chiggy on here just for posterity, just for reference. Uh, this stuff can be done just through the mobile app across the network. So now we'll select Done and OK. And now my device is added. So just keep that in mind. You do have to manage that. Um, you can't, again, no impact on a CarPlay connection. So if you're someone that's like, say you're renting motorcycles and uh, you want to have your Chiggy Go app, but you want to let the, the, you know, the client do CarPlay connection uh, on the device on the motorcycle, that's, that's absolutely no problem. And again, uh, just, just be aware, you, if you try to add the device, like uh, I'll demonstrate, I'll bring the... Uh, my Android device over here. We'll select add device, do the same thing. We'll type in the numbers.
Okay, so we'll pop this down here and we'll complete. And it tells you the device has already been bound. So I will not be able to add this to this device until I remove it from the iPhone. Anyway, that's a quick overview on the binding or the registering of the device to the Chigi Go app. Thanks for watching.